What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and this is week 13, I think, right? Yeah, week 13. Um, okay, so we start off by looking at week 12 reviews. So I got, uh, let's see, what did I get wrong? Oh, I got the Raiders game wrong. They got blown out. I uh, got this game wrong. Uh, I picked the Eagles because I wanted the Hawks to lose, so I pretty much got a lot of them right, though. Yeah, it looks about right. These, I didn't even, um, oh, no, I didn't vote on this one, or I didn't pick on this one, so I got this one wrong. All right, so, yeah, I know I missed the Thursday games, because Thanksgiving, I forgot, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about this shit, I uh, didn't have enough time, so... Um, I would have picked the the Bears on this one, so I would have got that right. I would have picked the Cowboys on this one, but the Bills won, so I would get that wrong. And I would obviously pick the Saints on this one, so. We'll just start off with the 10 a.m. game. It's 10 a.m., yep. Uh, 1 o'clock game, I mean. Um, Jets, Bengals, I'm going to go with the Jets. Jets are kind of hot right now. They're on a three-game win streak, so I'm going to roll with them. I don't think the Bengals have a shot at this. Uh, Browns, Steelers Steelers are playing some like Backup random, I don't, yeah I'm going with the Browns, Browns are kind of hot too Browns and the Jets are so, See, before the season started, people had the Browns And the Jets and like the wild card And they, the both teams start off Very slow, and now you kind of See like a glimpse of how they could be They're kind of hot right now, they're looking Good Um, So I'm going to go with the Browns, Packers Giants I feel like Aaron Rodgers wants a really good like bounce back game for against uh, because of what happened against the Niners like he just looked bad, so I think you know he'll have like a big game against the Giants. Colts Titans man I think the Titans are an underrated team. Uh, if you're t if you're like asking me who I rather have I rather have Tannehill over Jacoby Brissett. Now, I know that sounds dumb, but, like, in their best moments, like, okay. Because, obviously, you, for the future, you won't rather have Tannehill because that nigga is old, right? You'd rather have Jacoby. But, like, talent-wise, Tannehill just has it all. And also, the Italians' defense is playing, like, very good right now. Derrick Henry is playing, like, Pro Bowl caliber player. So, they're looking good. I kind of like their team right now. They might sneak in the wild card. Uh, Eagles, Dolphins. Eagles got a big ass break that the Cowboys lost. They're still in this division. They're not out of it just yet. I'm gonna go with the Eagles on this one. But that was a huge break. Now the Eagles, like I told you guys, I have them in my playoff prediction. I have them winning the division because of their schedule. It's this the easy though statistically, it's the easiest schedule like remaining. Out of the whole league. They play the Dolphins, the Giants twice, and the Cowboys. Now, what they got to do is take care of all the, the games, like the Dolphins and the Giants. Oh, and they play the Redskins. So, they got to take care of the Dolphins, Redskins, Giants twice. And I think the divisional game will come down to the Cowboys game. And I think the Eagles will win that game because they're at home. So, yeah. Buccaneers in Jacksonville. I'm gonna go with the Bucks on this one. I'm gonna go with the Bucks. The Bucks are kind of like the Bucks are like either they they look good or they look just horrible. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna go with the Bucks on this one. I feel like uh, I don't know, man. I think the Bucks D line will get to the quarterback. I don't even know who's starting. For, I don't even care about this game to be honest. All right, Redskins, Carolina. I think Carolina gets a bounce back. They're I think on a three game losing streak. I think they're on a three-game losing streak. Wait, no. Didn't they play us when they were five and two? Right? They played us when they were five and two. They played the Niners when they were five and two. Or four and two. I think it was five and two, and now they're five and six. So I think that's four straight. Ugh, that's kind of tough. All right, Baltimore. I mean, Niners at the Ravens. Now you guys obviously know I'm a Niners fan. This is game of the year, game of the week. If this was like a college game, it would be number one versus number two. Because that's how the power rankers are. The, the Ravens are number one. The Niners are number two. So if this was like a, a college game, that's how it would be. 
that's like game of the year, right? But considering that it's a it's an early game in the East Coast with bad weather, they're saying it's like a f- with rain and like thirty degrees. And you know what that means, right? Running, right? That, that means a lot of running. And who has the best backfield in the NFL? The Baltimore Ravens. Because not only do they have good running backs, that backfield also has Lamar motherfucking Jackson. And that nigga is gonna, like... Bro, like... I don't know how to explain it. You can't prepare for Lamar Jackson. You just can't. And the fact that he could throw now... See, last year, this is what the... uh, Because they lost in the playoffs. This is what the Chargers did. They just said... They just said, we're going to stack the box, and we're going to make Lamar throw it, and we're going to ha- have hella DBs. Every team, even the, the, even the motherfucking, uh, the Patriots did that against them. And Lamar was still, like, fucking him up, and, like, he was running. And, like, I- I've been seeing, because I was watching tape on them, I've been seeing them, they're running, like, these, like, crazy read options, crazy, like, QB draws. Like, they literally, it's a, they, they run a wildcat formation. But their wildcard player is Lamar Jackson. So you tell me your wildcard player is your quarterback? Like, that's impossible to stop. Usually a, a wildcard player will be like a running back or a receiver in the backfield, right? Catching the ball and running. Dude, they literally have Lamar Jackson. So, But you can't prepare for that because if it's wildcard formation, so you'll think that they're running, right? But it's the quarterback, so he might throw. It's just so crazy, bro. Uh, dude, if the Niners and the Ravens meet in the Super Bowl somehow... I do not want none of that shit, bro. Like I always be, how I would have like zero confidence. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to be biased here. Just how, it, it's just how it is, bro. I'm not like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. And I think the Ravens, they, they're gonna win this game, bro. Like, for for us to win this game, it'll be just somebody getting hurt or some shit. I don't know. But the Ravens win this game. The Niners will fall to ten and two. And this is why I'm saying like, it might not be as bad as you think. Because I'm about to explain it right now. Just wait. So I'm picking the Ravens on this one. Rams and Cardinals. Um, Bro, I can see the Cardinals winning this game. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Wait. Did the Rams and Cardinals play? They didn't. They haven't played yet. I'm going to go with AZ, man. I, I, bro, I have way more respect for Arizona than the Rams and the Seahawks. Fuck the Seahawks. I don't give a fuck. I just, I just have hatred for the Seahawks because they always just fuck us up with, with fucking Wilson. But, bro, Lamar, Je- I'm at, not Lamar, what am I saying? Kyler Murray and the offense, that spread offense, that shit, that shit is motherfucking deadly and annoying to go against, bro. It's very hard to go against. Uh, Chargers, Broncos, um, I think I'm going with the Chargers on this one. I don't really care about this game. Chiefs, Raiders, um, the Raiders lost a pretty bad game last week. And, and the Chiefs coming off a bye, they're getting more rest for, uh, for, uh, fucking, what's his name? Mahomes' leg or knee, whatever it is. So I think, I think the Chiefs. I think this will be a uh, close like game because I think the Chiefs just want to get out of this game with a win. So I have this game like 28-20, something like that. But I have the Chiefs winning on this one. They're home. The Raiders, or I don't know if it's the Raiders, but Derek Carr is like 0-4, 0-5 in Kansas City. It's not his favorite spot, man. All right, Patriots, Texans. I'm going to go with the Patriots. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Patriots. Let me tell you why. Texans defense is not really that good. That's why uh, That's why I feel like the Patriots could have some stats against them. But it's not only that. What do the Patriots do? The Patriots take your number one option. What is the Texans' number one option? DeAndre Hopkins. Now, you're telling me that fucking... Uh, the Texans are going to score a lot of points with how DeAndre Hopkins going off. Like, stop, man. Like, Gilmore and all that shit. Like, nah. Ah, uh, nah, buddy. All right, now. Monday Night Football, big game. Now, this is why I tell you guys that this game, it might not be as bad as, as it looks, right? So, if we lose this game 10 and 2, we would have to pray that somehow the Minnesota Vikings beat 
the Seattle Seahawks, right? So I'm going to go with the Vikings. But, and also the Vikings are coming off a bye. That's kind of scary, though. Because a lot of teams this year, when coming off a bye, have looked very bad. Like, we, we played the Packers off a bye. Yo, even this game, the Chiefs are coming up. But that's why, I'm, that's why I say buys later in the year is not as good as people think. Because you know how people say, oh, yeah, it's good later in the year because people get more rest. Bro, what if you're hot later in the year, right? And then you get a buy and, like, you start relaxing and your body gets, like, your body slows down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It kind of, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And then you go right back, then, like, two weeks later and you're, like, taking physical, like, ugh, it's kind of weird. I don't really, I don't think buys later in the year, like, week, week 11, week 12 is a good thing, bro. I think around week six, week seven, week five, week eight, that's like good buys over there. But these are not. Uh, I'm going with the Vikings because I need them to win this game. Even if the Niners do win, I just need them to win this game. This will be such. Bro, Minnesota, if you're listening to this, my nigga, look. We helped y'all niggas out, bro. We helped y'all niggas out. We fucked up the Packers for y'all. Y'all could win this division just because of us. Now you and the Packers are both 8-3. and three, So you better give us motherfucking, like, payback. Not payback. Uh. My brain just died. All right. Um, Minnesota Vikings, I'm going to have I'm going to say 30. Yeah, 30 on your head. 30. Twenty-three, seven-point game, pretty good. All right, so that's my weekly prediction, and thank you guys for watching, and bye.